to the shooting range. Just the place for a little target practice, huh? When you're done, head over to the exit. Big Boss! Zadordov. I had to kill him. Huh. So much for our fugitive. Something's not right here. I'm thinking he had a friend. Someone inside MSF. Huh? What's going on? It's Zeke. It's moving. What? There's somebody inside. I can see them. Snake! Get up here! Gato! somebody. Maybe I want to hurt somebody. What's going on? She's not herself. Oh, I am myself all right. My true self. Kaz, shut that thing down. I can't! The controls aren't responding! Then how's it moving? I made some modifications. This machine was meant to have a human pilot. Modifications? Paz, what are you- Never thought I'd be into machines, huh? Then Zidorov's escape was a diversion. Paz, what are you doing? I'm taking it back. Taking it back? Where? To our leaders. To Cypher. Cypher? This weapon is Cypher's creation. Pops, get down from there! Do not call me that. I am Pacifica Ocean. My name, my age, my mission. Cypher gave them all to me. My entire life has but one purpose. To carry out Cypher's plan. The nasty tobacco. The angel of peace crap. The whole thing with a dream routine. I am through with all of it. Pause. You can't. I told you not to call me that. It makes me want to puke. Everything is gone exactly as planned. Now the real Peace Walker project is finally about to reach its goal. The real project? Once upon a time, there were two young men who idolized a hero called The Boss. One day, they suddenly lost the point of origin. This cipher, that was like a mother to them. Unable to come to terms with their sorrow, they each decided to carry on the will of their hero. But they could not agree on what that meant. In the end, they became bitter enemies. And the zero from which they both started was split into two. <laughs> And you have been on the wrong path ever since. There is no 
happily ever after waiting for you in the end, unless you obey the will of Cypher. Where does an army without borders call home? A state without borders, of course. A world without borders. A world without borders? The Cold War Order is about to collapse. The Age of Electronic Intelligence is about to begin. The NSA, CSS, NRO, DIA, etc., etc. The intelligence community that is long bigger amongst itself will be united in a world governed by electrons. Cypher will gather all information, watching over the world and guiding the will of its people, all while they remain blissfully unaware. There will be no one to oppose them. For the first time, the world will be ruled by a single will. Until the new order is in place, you and your army will be the force that protects it. You will be Cypher's deterrent, pulling the wool over the ice of the old order with your charisma and military prowess. Accept our offer, and we will allow you to retain control of MSF and Zeke. That's an offer. The boss threw down her gun, and with it, her life's call. You, her disciple, have never been able to do that. You are too afraid to let go. I was made to fight. I am a gun. Is that so? Then what do you call this? Is it a gun too? You are a lousy liar. Admit it. This thing is a monstrosity. A product of your own fear. But not Cypher. Cypher thought of something different. Cypher's going to control guns. Control guns? That is right. Not deter. Control. It is the ultimate approach to the illusion of peace. Control power. You're gonna be disappointed. Then we are done. We are done. Thank you for playing. Better luck next time. The offer is rescinded. And now the ultimatum. Zeke is already in nuclear strike mode. What? I'm taking the weapon you built and using it to launch a nuclear strike on the east coast of the United States. You're insane. What are you after? But wait. Here is your consolation prize. We are about to show the world just how dangerous a gang of outlaws, an army without borders, can be. You and your men will become pariahs, and you will be wiped off the face of the earth. Rather than heroes, you will be seen as a well-armed extremist cult prone to indiscriminate outbursts of nuclear aggression. You will give rise to a new world order, an age of deterrence defined by its fear of extremist cult influence. Do you like the picture I am painting? Big boss. When all is said and done, peace is nothing but a fantasy. A game is a game. You either win or you lose. All you can do is fight. Stop me if you can. The peace sign is the V of victory. Say, peace?
tanks. Awaiting your orders. Stop me if you can.
the deck. Like a flame, but you're in the 
faces gun platforms to you. The control panel is on the edge of the deck.
Who would have thought that little girl was working against us? Tell me about it. She had everybody fooled, me included. Can't believe I didn't pick up on anything. Snake, there's no point in beating yourself up over the past. But hey, maybe you should put in some practice against Zeke in case this sort of thing ever happens again. In any case, I need to go talk to Dr. Strangelove. Zeke still isn't ready. Huey! How's it going? How's Zeke look? The attitude control AI had a backup, so it should be able to walk. Really? Uh, that's good. Beyond that, it's up to the creator. Stop! Don't come any closer, Doctor. There's... something I've been meaning to ask you. Do you... do you despise me? Doctor? Are you asking me out? No, no. <laughs> Not at all. I... No? Hmm. Pity. Because I've just had my heart broken by someone else. What? I only like those who can stand on their own. If you fancy me, then come walk with me. Who knows what miracles might happen. Love is blind after all. Take your time. I'll be waiting. That name Poss mentioned at the end, Cypher, it's a code. It means empty. It also means... Zero. A world of electronic intelligence, built on codes. And at the center of it all, a zero. Kaz. Uh, look boss, I owe you an apology. Hear me out, okay? <sighs> sure. I, uh, knew Paz and the Professor. I knew who they really were all along. Cause... I used them. I suppose you were the one that brought them to Columbia in the first place, huh? Guilty as charged. Paz wasn't just CIA, you know. She was working for the KGB, too. And for this Cypher group. In other words, she was a triple agent. You knew all of this? Wait, let me finish. Listen, MSF never would have gotten this big if it weren't for them. This mercenary business we built, someday it's gonna be a new driving force in the world economy. <sighs> is that your goal all along? The Cold War is not gonna last forever. Sooner or later it's gonna give way to an era of regional conflicts and terrorism. A paradigm shift from counter-communism to counter-terrorism in the new age. Armies won't be tied to states, and war will become a business. We'll be a valuable commodity. There'll be clients all over the world who need our services. MSF is only the beginning. What we're creating here is a revolution in itself. Am I right? Cuz... It's not going to be that easy. What do you mean? This whole Peacewalker thing has left our mark on the history of the Old Order. 
We've put ourselves on the radar of intelligence agencies and governments east and west. The whole world probably knows about us now. Including that cipher outfit. We've let ourselves interfere with the times. With the Cold War system of deterrence. We're an army without a flag. We weren't supposed to take sides in international affairs, but we did. I see your point. So what happens to us now? We'll be hunted. Not everybody's gonna be happy with us, huh? You're damn right. We upset the global military balance of power. And these people would rather our army without borders not exist at all? They're gonna come knocking real soon. There's no turning back now. We're a wrench in the old system of deterrence. As long as the times refuse to change, we're gonna make a hell of a racket. Then who are we gonna fight? The establishment. Anybody who tries to restore the old balance wants to snuff us out of existence. Which establishment? It won't be a particular country or ideology that hunts us. Who then? We are gonna be fighting the biggest beast of all. The Times. Ten years ago, the Times rejected the boss and killed her. And now, we are the ones being tested. Will the Times erase us? Or work with us? It's gonna be a lonely battle. No good or evil. No winners or losers. Business will have to wait. The question we have to ask ourselves now is, can we survive long enough to see the 21st century? I'm with you, boss. We'll see how it turns out, together.
Can we ever protect and fight with our tiny?
We will forsake our countries. We will leave our motherlands behind us and become one with this earth. We have no nation, no philosophy, no ideology. We go where we're needed, fighting not for country, not for government, but for ourselves. We need no reason to fight. We fight because we are needed. We will be the deterrent for those with no other recourse. We are soldiers without borders, our purpose defined by the era we live in. We will sometimes have to sell ourselves and services. If the times demand it, we'll be revolutionaries, criminals, terrorists. And yes, we may all be headed straight to hell. But what better place for us than this? It is our only home, our heaven.